Greetings goons, gangsters, and gamers. It's your boy, The Good Tonight. Today we're doing a review on Shot Concepts. Once again, they came out with another banger, so we gotta talk about it. So today we are looking at Shot Concepts Sidekick. Waka! <laughs> oh, friggin' Sidekick Holster Pad. So this is interesting. So you have a holster pad. So it works with the uh, little single strap over the leg, but also has this nice padded layer going on. So, if I can go ahead and bring this guy, bring it down a little bit. If we look over here, you can see we got our holster. We got the holster pad here underneath the holster. And this is all mounted into our True North Concepts freaking uh, modular holster adapter. So, the modular holster adapter. <laughs> There's a few things, few things to talk about here, so let's get that back up there real quick. So the module holster adapter, nice little aluminum, we gotta we got talk about this, this is important. This nice little aluminum sort of setup thing designed to sort of like replace the standard Safari Land little plastic holster. I do like it, it's nice, solid, gives you a stable little mounting platform. Let me actually pop this guy free here. And there's a few things to know. Um, some people, a lot of people like the idea. But a few people run into a few problems. Like for me, if you don't read the instruction manual, a kind soul by the name of Ranton Soup, pronunciation pending, will tell you, hey, make sure you use the rubber spacers so you don't <laughs> wear down your Safari Land stuff like I did. <laughs> and uh, I was like, the rubber spacers, but they're already between the uh, little. I was thinking about these guys that mount to the belt, but no, there were there were more rubber spacers. And uh, those go between this holster pad with the longer screws. And with that, you can actually set this in place without destroying your QLS plate, which is important. So, that's part one. But the key issue I've seen, I talked to a few people who are also purchased or at least tried to run the modular leg holster. Um, a key issue some people ran into is that it's a little bit long and kind of like the plastic ones you had with Safari Land. But a bit more so, these will dig into your upper thigh. And getting stuff digging into your upper thigh is, well, uncomfortable, unpleasant, and it can cause all sorts of problems. So a key solution from Shaw Concepts is not just that this has a cool little angle for the single strap. It does angle it downwards in sort of like a V-shape, so it more naturally goes around your leg. I was not using single leg straps because they would always stay more horizontal go directly around the leg, they'd always run up onto the jeans, up into the, uh, the uh, private parts, and cause discomfort and problems and other stuff. And generally wouldn't have enough retention. This has some good elastic going on here than your normal strap. And it gives you the extra retention while being significantly more comfortable. But like I met, as I was mentioning, with the single leg strap, if you buy the one that comes with the, uh, the uh, modular holster, you get your sort of like single standard leg strap sort of ordeal, like so. This one does have the elastic too, but without that sort of angled bend that the Shaw Concept one does, it's not as comfortable. And also if you're running it really low to try to artificially create that comfort space, you run into a fun problem that me and many other people had a few complaints about, and that's that this is now on the inside of that plate already. And not only is it on the outside, but now it's something with less surface area digging deeper into your hip and even less comfortable. So, let me uh, go ahead here real quick, clear that, and what we're going to do is I'm going to pop this guy off real quick and kind of like show you guys up close and personal what we're working with. Because if you're running the normal Safari Land stuff, you'll probably be alright, but if you really want to get that extra comfort and... Uh, Shaw is kind of the man. It's um, a good idea. So here you can see we got our plate up there. And you do get, you do want to use these longer screws here. You got three that mount in there. So standards are like Safari Land set up. Three screws. And you also got some laser cut out if you want to attach something. I can't really think of anything more to attach than a, uh, like a shot timer. Not too many other things you'll need. But it's on both sides. We pop this QLS plate here. They do come with these unique little screws. I'm pretty sure, I can't remember if these came with the holster or the um, the shot concept stuff, but these are nice little uh, screws. They don't dig into the uh, plate or nothing, and they hold retention really good, as you can see in there. 
Rubber space is added. Once again, thank you, Ronton Soup, for the information, because uh, I can be forgetful. That gives you a little bit of space so you don't hit these two screws down here. So this guy, super padded, very comfortable, especially <laughs> when I was almost debating what I was going to do holster-wise because the stuff kept dimming into my leg. I saw this nice little padding, and it's exactly where you need it. And like I mentioned here, that sort of um, pinches up over here. That's where the extra material and how it goes about is set up. Because, of course, you want to be able to take this out and switch it around if need be. And you got your normal little... Uh, actually, used a nice metal follower there, a little metal slide. So that's good. That's comfortable. And the whole thing is just a huge improvement in comfort, in design, just anything and everything. I got an M81 because I do like those colors. And you get the black belt! Yeah! So, you got a nice little setup there, so all you gotta do, is much like normal, you put your belt on, and take the leg strap, throw it under, over the top, click, and as you can see, it's got that nice little downward angle slant to it. That is perfection. So, you take this, you, oh, that works better with a holster, doesn't it? <laughs> Now your holster in place, insert, firearm of choice, and voila, it is that easy. So that's all there really is to it. It's a very simple, very effective, very uh, cash money design. So like between, I started between like Shaw and Axel, we kind of like got everything you need to operate in comfort and style. So yeah, then you just mount your, uh, do I got my shot around here? Do, 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 do. There she is. Yeah, 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 so you just take your shot timer, come out to the front or the back. I'm gonna mount mine in the back. Dun, 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 dun. Shabam! And there you go, you got your shot timer, easy peasy, ready to go. Ta da! And you can mount any other sort of like cool thing there. You probably don't want to put something heavier like handgun mag pouches. You could if you want to have like one on your strong side as a just in case sort of scenario. But for the most part, you probably won't need it. But yeah, it carries the weight really well. Nothing's digging into the hip. Neither the upper hip or the bone or nothing. It's complete result, perfection. And for, what do you go? They go for like 50 bucks. So $50 to um, not have a holster dig into your leg is muy bueno. So. That's all I got for you guys. If you got any like, crazy questions or concerns or anything, feel free to hit me up. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. But this has been a massive upgrade that has made my life significantly better. It makes wearing a holster and actually using that strap, because I used to, I, I really never used the strap in the past, but it helps out a lot and it makes everything a lot smoother. So, 11 out of 10. Easy, easy 11 out of 10. So, um, if you don't have one, and you want one, you should go buy one. That's, um, how a capitalistic economy works, so. Once again, good work to him. The spacer advice helps out a lot, so even if you are using a modular holster adapter, and you want to improve it, there are spacers in one of those bags, and you get the longer screws, because adding in the uh, spacer, I think this one came with the longer screws. There are longer screws somewhere. They came from somewhere. I found them. And you mix those together, bam, you got a nice holster set going on. So, cheers everyone, stay chill, and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.